I thought maybe we could talk. What for? Maybe we could have a relationship. I think we have a lot in common. I can never be that common. <laughs> okay, then how about just a date without a relationship? <laughs> Jamie, we've been through this before. Yeah, I know, but that was last term in grade school. This is junior high. I'm not the same man. I've matured. You want to see the hair on my toes? <laughs> no, thanks. Well, you can take my word for it. And how about that date? And just what would we do on our date? Oh, like go for a chili dog and then I'd walk you home. I even stand downwind so you couldn't smell the onions on my breath. <laughs> Forget it, Jamie. I'm not a chili dog kind of a girl. Oh, I don't know. I think you're pretty hot stuff. <laughs> you're cute, Jamie. But it takes a lot more than chili dogs to date me. Try again when your bank account matures. <laughs> Boy, if Jessica's nose gets any higher, it'll be in orbit. <laughs> Harriet, what are you doing here? Well, your school's just a couple of blocks from mine, so I thought maybe we could have an intimate little lunch together. <laughs> no way, Harriet. If anyone saw me having lunch with a grade school kid, there goes my reputation. I'll be dead in the water. <laughs> I don't know why you're so hung up on Jessica. All she's got is long blonde hair, a great figure, and a beautiful face. <laughs> what else is there? Me! <laughs> Date. I love chili dogs. <laughs> no, Harriet, I don't think it'd be right for both the food and the date to give me heartburn. <laughs> Besides, I thought you liked Warren Enright. Oh, I got over him. He's not my type. Uh-oh, here comes Warren now. I better go. I hate scenes. <laughs> Jamie, how do you do it? You've got girls hanging all over you. Harriet isn't a girl. She's a mouth with pigtails. <laughs> <laughs> girls never even give me a second glance. Oh, what about Brandy Ross? I saw you dancing with her last week at that costume party. Sure, because she didn't know who I was. When I took my Frankenstein mask off, she screamed. <laughs> well, you can't have everything, Warren. At least you're the smartest kid in class. That's a given. But I trade a whole semester of A's for just one night of wild passion. <laughs> Help me with dinner. Uh, just a minute, honey. This is really important. Okay, Vicky, about face. <laughs> oh, I wish she wouldn't do that. Mm. Oh, mm. Yeah. Vicky, turn your body around, too. <laughs> honey, remember we were talking about how we were going to be able to finance Jamie's college education? How can I forget? It's going to cost us a fortune. Yeah. Let's hope that one day he'll graduate and make a lot of money and buy us all the things we couldn't afford because we sent him to college. Yeah, let's stick it to that little freeloader. Yeah. I fed all of our expense information into her computer and she's figuring out how much we can spend on each item. And uh, how you doing, Vicki? I processed the information and the weekly budget is now ready. Oh, and Joni, whatever Vicki says goes. She's the boss. I'm the boss. Okay. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi, Jane. Dad, I was wondering if I could have a raise in my allowance. Yeah, I have to take that up with the boss, you know? Okay. What do you say, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> no, honey, wrong boss. Uh, ask Vicky. Vicky? Yeah, we're on a budget now and she's in charge of it. Okay. So, how much is my allowance, Vicky? Your allowance is the same, $3 a week. Yeah, but I'm gonna need a little more. Your allowance is $3 a week. <laughs> it's still $3 a week. Sorry, Jamie, but nothing is more important than your college education. And we're all going to have to make some sacrifices. But college is six years away. What am I going to do about my expenses now that I'm in junior high? Well, what expenses? 
You know, books, papers, pencils, Jessica. <laughs> Jessica? Jessica is the girl in grade school who dumped on him and squashed a tomato in his face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the good old days. Please, Jamie, I thought you were over her. Me too, Dad, but I think about her all the time. Yesterday, I even saw her face in my cereal. <laughs> She snapped, crackled, and popped her way back into my heart. Even beautiful when she's soggy, huh? Yeah, but she won't go out with me unless I spend a lot of money on her. Well, honey, if that's what it takes, you're better off without her. You can't buy love. On $3 a week, maybe you can rent it. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie, but we're gonna have to make this budget work, and it's gonna have to be a team effort. Do I have a choice? No, I'm the boss. <laughs> That's right. But if there is a real problem, there is an emergency fund of $200. $200? $200? Yeah. Where are you keeping it, Dad? I mean, not that I... You better not. I wouldn't. You couldn't. <laughs> you see, I programmed Vicky to hide it, and even I don't know where it is. We can't get it unless Vicky computes that it's a real emergency. And Vicky, what happens if somebody tries to get that information out of you? Gotta check it? Oh, sure, Warren, but make it quick. I got some heavy breathing to do with Jessica. <laughs> well, after watching you in action yesterday, I got an idea. How about you giving me some pointers on how to get girls to like me? What do you say, pal? <laughs> Gee, Warren, I'm sorry, but I don't have the time. I'm just too busy. I'll pay you a lot of money, but never too busy for a pal. <laughs> how much money do you have, Warren? Oh. A few hundred dollars. A few hundred? What'd you do, give up stamp collecting for mugging? <laughs> well, no, I saved it up for my allowance and birthday gifts and stuff like that. Since nobody likes me, I don't have anyone to spend it on. You see, I'm not really this chubby. Part of it's a money belt. <laughs> well, Warren, my pal, your troubled life is about to change. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let you follow me around on my date so you can observe the master at work. Wow, thanks. And you know what? I'm not even gonna take a cent of your money. You're kidding. You mean you're gonna teach me for free out of the kindness of your heart? Right. And all you have to do is pick up my expenses. <laughs> out of the kindness of your money belt. <laughs> what a guy. Well, this way it's more humane. <laughs> Just sit right here and watch the big J in action. <laughs> Lesson number one, how to get a date. I'll take notes. <laughs> Keep your ears open. Keep my ears open. <laughs> and watch closely. And watch closely. Warren, you don't have to write down everything I say. I don't have to write down everything. Warren! Can I use that water money for a second? Sure, what for? Because Jessica's favorite color is green. <laughs> Jessica, can I speak to you for a second? It's very important. Well, okay. <clears throat> Jessica, my sweet, today is your lucky day. You're moving to another city? <laughs> <laughs> if I moved away, how could we keep our date on Saturday? Jamie, why are you wasting your time? You know my requirements. Yes, I do. And that's why I'm requiring you for dinner at Le Petit Mason. Jamie, you don't have the money for that kind of place. Oh, I don't? Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait a minute. Knowing you, that's probably Monopoly money. <laughs> if it is, I passed go and stopped it loaded. <laughs> See for yourself. <laughs> it's the real stuff, all right. 
You always were my favorite, Jamie. <laughs> you got yourself a date. All right! Till then, bye, cutie pie. <laughs> entire book and filed the recipes in my memory bank. Wonderful. You're the cutest little recipe box in the world. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Lawson. Hi, Harriet. Can I speak to Jamie, please? Oh, well, I'm afraid he's getting dressed, honey. He's got a big date tonight. I know. What, Jessica? She's pretty, but she's trouble. <laughs> Would you give Jamie a message for me, please? Oh, well, sure. What's that? I may be harder to look at, but I'd be easier on his heart. <laughs> well, I'll tell him that. Thanks. Oh, would you give him one more message? Well, of course, dear. What is it? <laughs> What's Harriet's problem? Jamie. Heck, hath no fury like a woman scorned. <laughs> How'd you play? Oh, honey. 18 holes of golf without a cart or a caddy. Nothing but my sagging shoulders and what's left of my legs. <laughs> Our new budget is killing me. Think about how much money you saved. We're just that much closer to having the money for Jamie's college. Not if we have to spend it on my funeral. <laughs> Doing our part too. Mm -hmm. See, budget cooking. Mm -hmm. What's that funny smell? Dinner. It's cabbage. There are twelve different things you can do with cabbage. <laughs> I think you forgot one, honey. <laughs> Garbage disposal. I hate cabbage. Ted, give it a chance. Tonight I'm making cabbage a la mustard. I'd rather eat my golf shoes a la mustard. <laughs> Okay, that does it. Our son is eating out tonight at a fancy French restaurant, and we're having cabbage 12 different ways. I think we should go out for a change, and we'll use the emergency fund. Where'd you hide it, Vicky? I'm programmed not to give you that information. I'm aware of that. I'm the one who programmed you. This is an emergency. I'll be the judge of that. Vicky, it's very important that we go out to dinner tonight. Going out to dinner does not compute as an emergency. Don't get smart with me. I built you. I can take you right apart again. Get the message? The message is... <laughs> Don't sit there. Help me. It's your handkerchief. <coughs> no, Vicky, it would be nice if we went to dinner out. If we don't, we will starve to death. You can't starve. There's a lot of cabbage in the kitchen. I don't want cabbage. Where'd you hide that money, you little bucket of bolts? Well, you won't find it. Hello. May I help you? Yes, I have a reservation for two, Mr. Lawson. You are Monsieur Lawson? That's me. Hmm. But I'm not Mrs. Lawson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we usually don't have customers of such tender age. Actually, we have asparagus older than you. <laughs> Let me ask you, monsieur, how you intend to pay for this? With your parents' uh, credit card, perhaps? No, all I've got is a ton of cash. Cash? Ah, yes, I remember it well. <laughs> this way, monsieur, mademoiselle. <laughs> oh. 
Don't you just love these little places? It's like being back in France. I know what you mean. Did you say you spoke the language? Si. <laughs> the menu for me. It's in French. It is? Okay. Um, what's this? Gwen O'Isle? <laughs> Gwen O'Isle! <laughs> ah! Excuse me, I have to wash my hands. Ah, monsieur, this young man tells me he is with you. Yeah, uh, he's my chauffeur. Your chauffeur, of course. <laughs> See, uh, could you please tell me what is Greno Wild? Greno, ah, if you mean Rory, it means frog legs. Frog legs. Do you have anything on the menu that can't get up and walk off the plate? <laughs> well, if you leave everything to me, I will take very good care of you. I was just going to suggest that. Pretty smooth, huh? <laughs> That dinner was absolutely... I can't find the word. I can. Expensive. <laughs> um, excuse me, Jamie. I gotta go. I promised my mom I'd be home by eight. Why, Warren! What are you doing here? Oh, you probably saw me come in with my beautiful date, right? Right. I saw you come in with your beautiful date. <laughs> Um, listen, since I gave you all my money, could you give me enough for car fare home? Car fare, sure! Always glad to help the needy. Bye, Warren. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. What do you mean you gave him all your money? Well, uh... It's just a loan. To cover me until my investments pay off. What investments? Stocks, bonds, pot bellies. <laughs> So, in other words, Warren's the one who has all the money and is paying for dinner. Jessica, what's the difference? The important thing is that two people share a special relationship. Right, but you're not one of the two people. Warren, will you take me home? Me? Something's going terribly wrong here. <laughs> Let's go, cutie pie. She touched my bare skin. <laughs> I think I'll be needing this now, Jamie. And thanks. You're a terrific teacher. I'm a terrific jerk. <laughs> Oh, I could not help but notice, monsieur, that your lady friend ran off with your chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot in France. <laughs> well, at least I hope you enjoyed your dinner. Your check, monsieur. Actually, I don't have the money anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no money? All right, what are you trying to pull here, you little squirt? What happened to your accent? What happened to your money? I just walked out the door with my date. Hmm. I guess it's time to call Z Parents, huh? Right. Come on, kid. You deserve what Jessica did to you. You were trying to be a big shot instead of being just what you are. A little shot? <laughs> Jamie, you can't force someone to like you just by spending money on them. And look what you did to our budget. I'm sorry, Dad. I won't be that stupid again. Now we've got a real emergency, Vicky. Describe the emergency. I had to use the rest of the household money to pay Jamie's restaurant bill. So we have to use the emergency fund to get through the rest of the month. That computes as an emergency. Good. Now where'd you hide the money? I swallowed it. <laughs> what? Swallowed it? Ted, how are we going to get it? I guess I'll have to take her apart. That won't be necessary. Open my frontal integrated circuit board. Okay, now what? Punch in code green 1492. 
code GREEN1492. Now stand back. <laughs> She's a small wonder, brings love. 